Oh, yo, what's good? Apparently that changed, and I was just like, yo. <laughs> How we do now? We all good. Let me know if the volume's all a bit shit, because it's a bit hit and miss. I've been trying to set this up. How are we all doing? Got this shit working now. Real streamer shit. Volume's good. A little quiet though. That's probably just my voice. Sorry. It's like fucked. Hold on. I'm doing okay. It's just shit. When are you going to re-dye your hair? Done. I know the hood is staying up. It's a crime right now. I'm going to do it just before we set off because it's just... Yeah, the hair is, uh, is going to get sorted. Don't you worry. How are we doing? We all good? On this one day? Um, thanks for coming through. We're going to watch through and basically just go through everything and do. We welcome in a video which is kind of put together after the thought of the record to kind of just give it a new lease of life and carry on the law that we've been going on um, and hopefully tie some stuff up. See you in 11 days in Detroit. Yeah, let's go. Greetings from Washington State. Yo, what's good? Shout out Washington. I've been missing your Seattle show. Aw, oh, good. Yeah, if you're just tuning in, fucking L84 people. Hope we're all good. Um, we're going to be going through everything with a welcoming video. And um, yeah, I'll just basically be talking about anything. If there's any like camera film people in here or anything like that, want to know anything at all. We can happily talk about it and go through all the different elements involved in making, quite frankly, the quickest music video we've probably ever had to do. Actually, now I tell a lie, DSC 301 was the quickest one, but, you know, you get it. Seeing you in LA, yo, big up. Also, if you're US-based, we're coming on tour with Loath in a week. Come through a show, pull up, say hi, let's do some fun shit. Which VHS cam did you use for your music videos? So this one... This one wasn't actually VHS, this one was pure just um, my A6300 which you're looking through right now, like Sony, I think it's, I think US have like the A6500 or something like that, and then like the 6000 exists, but I'm, yeah, just a C300, literally like a £300 camera. Ooh, major, ooh, film major here, graduated from film, film school. Big up you. I didn't even get in, so. <laughs> we move in. Wish I could make the tour. Sounds like a good time. Yeah, it's going to be fucking sick. So you, Unity have just changed um, out for Pale Dusk, which sucks on Pale Dusk half, but don't to get to watch them every night. Yeah, see this shit now? Real sub. <laughs> real, real shit, sorry. Thanks for the follow, for real. You should uh you should show uh, song projects or something. Could would if I could, but we literally can't because we lost everything in a big folder corruption. We move right anyway. I think there's enough people in here, and I'm just gonna start boring people if I carry on. So we'll get through it. Um, I don't know how volume this is gonna be, so we're just gonna have to wing it and see how it goes. But I'll do one spin through. We'll go from front to back. Fucking hell, my voice. I'll do one spin through, we'll go front to back, and then we'll do another spin through. And I'll stop at certain points and point out any cool shit that I kind of pick out, and then I'll take questions and do it that way. But yeah, sound. <laughs> for the sub.
yeah, that was that. <laughs> Watching it back. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh no. Watching it back. I'm like, there's so much stuff that I kind of wished that I did differently. Um, yo, thank you so much for the sub. Um, yeah, there would be so much stuff that I just wish we kind of did differently. Um, but this video was shot on... I think it was like the second hottest day of the year. So like in the UK, we had this mad heat wave where it was just like, I don't even know, it was like mid thirties to nearly forties in terms of heat. And I know in the studio space that we were in, it was like top floor of like a mill. And it was just so hot that like, we can't post any of the behind the scenes photos anywhere because everyone's basically naked. <laughs> like it was, it was so hot and there's like no one could wear any clothes because you'd just be you'd just be dying and there's like shots where you can see I've got makeup running down my face in it because I'm just like yeah it's it, it's like unfathomably unfathomably warm like one of the hottest I've ever been in my entire life and then obviously you're under lights and stuff it's it was just awful um so I'm just gonna go through this real quick and just point out some things which are kind of interesting I'd have to talk about the intro you can find a lot of these intro, like at uh, this intro, a lot of the segments have references to other videos. There's a decent reference in here, um, which is going to get explored in like the last video that we ever do. And then there'll be like other things kind of tying in, but this intro section um, explores themes on from like early on, like Safe Word Realm and stuff like that, which you can clearly see and such. So I'll just skip over the intro because I don't want to be spoiling things for people and all that shit. So, oh my God. Um, so I'm just skip in quick where it actually starts. Uh, yeah, th there was a couple things which I did way different this time around versus versus everything else. Um, I like I shot <laughs> shot a lot of this onto onto tape. Uh, onto like actual VHS tape. I'll see if I've got the video on my phone anywhere. Um, but I shot all of this, did a whole edit, finished it, and then threw it onto an actual VHS tape. And then from there on that VHS tape, let's see if I got it anywhere. Yeah, I think this is a video of me doing it here. Just to document it. I literally would be like ripping the tape apart. And then winding it back in. Um, believe me, it was such, it was such a pain. Like such a pain. Like I'd, I'd have to. Sorry, it's completely out of focus. I know. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, but I would shoot it onto the actual tape itself, wind it in, put it back into my VHS, and sometimes I'd put it back in, and it'd be so crumbled up that it'd jam all the cogs and shit and I'd have to take it out. I'd have to take the top panel off the top of the VHS, string it back out again, thread it back around and put it back in. So it was like, yeah, it was it was absolute hell doing it. But you can see there's a a couple of shots that I'll point out here where you can tell it turns to the actual VHS. And obviously I shot and filmed that back in. And I think it just looks way warmer and way different to anything that we've actually done. Cause we've shot the CRT, we've shot to film, but then there's this look the actual VHS Tapes provide that I don't think we've been nerdy shit, so sorry. Like that that's really small snippet that just happened there. Go back on that. Oh my god. That like that. You can see it like warps everything and changes the colour of everything so much. Like Yo, thanks for the sub. Huge kale. I can't even pronounce that, but thank you. Um, you see, it provides like a completely different texture once again. And I think, like, if you're in here watching this for like music videos and stuff like that, like my biggest advice I kind of give is like supply texture, supply color, supply like difference in like four different mediums a video if you can like it just keeps things look, looking new keeps things looking fresh and it, it means you don't have to like keep you know pushing it as hard 
Just letting you know your music is way louder than you. Oh, yeah. Probably because I can't push this mic anymore because it's literally fucking cranked to shit because my voice is fucked. Is that any better? Well, I hope it is. Um, but yeah, I'll just carry on going and I will just turn this down because that's just made me really, really conscious of it to be fair. So yeah, more VHS stuff going on there. And then we did this thing with the fishbowl. So for those who were here early days, the remembering clean kind of put together the glass on the table, which bent the lines. I kind of wanted to just do something throwback and something which would uh, like kind of tag into that sort of thing. Um, so we just thought fishbowl and do other like stuff like that. There was like a bigger plan to do way more with it, but like I said, just with like deadlines and like with how unbearable this studio heat was that was like a like not very many things we could do unfortunately but like i'm glad we got it in and you know i actually hope people like this video because it was it was nice to be able to do something for a song which i don't think got much love or a song that i think got definitely overlooked a lot I'm taking... Yo, thank you so much. I'm taking photography course at school right now, and man, and man, I'm so shit at it. Yo, hold on. Man, I'm so shit at it, like settings I do in my head in any advice. Um, my best advice is honestly, as painstaking as this is, just put your camera on manual and go out and go and do as much as you can. Go out at night, go out in the day, um, do stuff in your house if you don't want to leave. Like, just shoot manual. Like for me, I got like a manual only lens. Um, let's see if I put it anywhere. But basically, I got a lens that had no autofocus. It had no like auto settings on it. So what I'd have to do is, I would have to dial in exposure manually. So I'd have to learn what f stops and aperture and all that shit was. I'd have to learn how to use an ISO. I'd have to learn how to change my shutter speed and kind of balance this. People call it the exposure triangle and whatnot. I think it got mentioned. But you'd have to learn to balance these things in order to uh, make it work. Thanks for the follow, Alex. Um, yeah, that's that's my best advice is to just go out and do it and don't give in to doing autofocus because I, I even know friends who I like shoot with and stuff like that. They even like still go back to using like an auto in some degree. Like, yeah, I mean, you, you could do it in that way where it's like shutter priority settings and stuff like that. But like... I don't fuck with it. Like, I think it's just much smarter to dial in. Either that or start shooting film, but it's so expensive that if you're fucking it and getting it wrong, it's, <laughs> it's not going to be a fun time. And also just take note of what you do and try to remember is my, is my best advice. Sorry, went on a tangent there. Oh, that's one actually. So this is the first video as well where we've been able to do a ceiling, which was um, like we could do things to it. Uh, every other room we've been in before this, I think. Sorry, me. Every other room we've been in before this has been like we'd have to uh, create a ceiling with like a dust sheet and like bounce lights through it and like it worked to our advantage to be fair because it allowed us to be able to uh, have an instant spill and spill is like where you project light over a, a space by sending it through a sheet because so you've imagined you've got a plane, you set a light through it, it hits that plane and it, then it blooms out and creates that like really soft lighting. Oh my god, my throat. Um, and this was the first shoot that we did where we actually just had a ceiling, um, which we could push it on so you see the lines go all the way up and round and it just kind of looks a bit sick. So, yeah, that's that one. Oh, this here, just before the chorus kicks in. I'll go as quick as I can, sorry about this, everyone. Um, we've got this orange thing, which kind of keeps flashing up in between. If you're really, 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 really eagle-eyed on stuff, you'll um, you'll know what that's from. If you've bought the vinyl, you'll know what that's from. So give it a, give it a couple watches and have a look through. But 
if you really like pay attention, you'll you'll know where that's from. And I think it's uh, pretty funny that I stuck it in there for sure. And then that little, this little bit here, this. So this is a product of the tape that I was talking about a second ago, where I was like pulling it out and destroying it. Uh, it just creates like this really bad, like it's all natural as well. Like there's no. There's no post effects on this. It's all like natural stuff and like the grading's all legit grading from the TV. So I dial it in with the TV remote rather than, um, oh my God, sorry, rather than doing it in like a uh, DaVinci Resolve or like a color grading software, which is kind of funny. But yeah, this is like the natural tip that I talked about. Like I bent and pulled and stretched it and shit and got this out of the end of it. So, just going to talk about this section real quick. Um, as you can see here, in between these two rooms, so this is actually, like, I've seen this done before in, like, in, like, Post and other stuff like that. This is actually, like, legit two rooms that we made. We split one room in half and had a, a pane down the middle of it and just literally panned the camera in between like that because I wanted to actually do, like, a real transition um looking back i probably should have stuck more shit in here because it just I, I feel like it was really underlooked <laughs> in the grand scheme of things but fuck it, i think less is more and stuff like that so you know one of them but um yeah like this whole section of this transition i wanted to like transition into dark going into this new verse um as this song is literally only like three sections long um, I felt like it was appropriate to really try switch up the vibe for this second half and then pick up momentum again throughout. Um, obviously, we limit on clips, limit on time. So just do what you can with it. I just realized there's so many frames in this that it's almost like impossible to keep up with what the fuck's happening. And I wanted it to be that way for so long, but now watching it back, I'm like, why the fuck did I cut it like this? It's so just like, <laughs> it's so over the top. Ah, it's funny. It's funny. It's one of them. But yeah, that's is what it is, you know? I hope it, I hope it looks all right. But... I ain't even saying it, but if you know, you know. Oh, also, yep. Another one. You know, you know. So weird hearing it without that uh, sample at the end, though. I say sample, it's literally, it's literally me and Eric. <laughs> It's me and Eric on the original voice note that we did. I wonder if I still have that anywhere. I think I probably played it in this before, and I'm just... Uh, 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 memory problems kicking in, but... Um, yeah, it was... It was literally all... That song was done entirely from a from a voice note of... Um, me me and Eric just jamming, which was, which was funny as fuck. Let me just see chat. Sorry, I just had to hide chat to get that back up. Oh, God. This is just the best song. <laughs> Debatable. Uh, let me see. 
I've got it anywhere. Jesus. Oh, I can't find it. I'll put it online someday. But yeah, I just remember doing that. And then from the original voice note at the end of it, Eric was like, oh, did you get that? And then we ended up just sticking that in the song. And like a good, like massive full circle moment for me was getting that done and then sticking that on the end of the song, which got pressed on a record. I thought was hilarious because you just hear something so stupid amongst an album that's so serious. It was just kind of, kind of cool. All right. Anyone got any? Ooh, anyone got any questions on this? Would you ever sell a telephone and use for videos? Mm. And I'd probably just charity roll on my way, to be honest. I don't think I'd ever, like, just sell something for the sake of making money. Um, How much footage are you left with average per video? Honestly, like, the amount of stuff we shoot, you could probably get, like, two, three other cuts done. Like, um, I'm, it's, like, something I'm trying to work on as a problem. Oh, fucking hell. Didn't realise it were you, lad. How you doing? Um, like... It, I always kind of overshoot every time and sometimes I'll go back and reshoot and it'll be just far too much, but I always kind of control how much I'm letting go. What's your favourite music video you made? Uh, Such a shame, which I might just stick on in the background right now. I know it was unrelated, wasn't it? Was it on the up next? Oh, the Aiden Camry the Suffering up next. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Fuck, I'm gonna get in fucking trouble for doing that. Um, yeah, probably such a shame. Let me just see if I can get that up real quick. I know I already did a such a shame one, but I'll just probably have it on in the background as some sort of stimulation for you. Um, yeah, this one was probably the my favorite one we made just because there were so many scenes in it. Um, like so much different stuff that went into it and there was like this was so we're talking about the warmest video a second ago this was absolutely the coldest i've ever been in my life so you see these sequences uh these ones here so i'm doing that in a shirt which is see-through no socks no shoes um pants that are super thin and it was like minus must have been about minus three in that room i could like feel the hair follicles on my head and it was just unbearable. Like I, my brain stopped working for a lot of the day. Like, it was horrible. Um, also, this is one of the videos where there's barely any CRT, like, run through. Like, there's a bit there and stuff to help the animation and stuff. But, like, there's barely any of it compared to the rest of the videos. Mic upgrade is blessed. Ah, shout out TJ. That opening lyric shots me like, slaps me like a brick shit house. I love it. How did you come up with such elaborate stories, music videos and lyrics? Does this world you've created stem from something? Is it something you built before Static Dress existed? It's just like, honestly, I just love stories. And I like, I'm not a, like, I'm not a singer. I'm not like a, a you know, like a, a good performer or like a artist as such. I'm just someone who takes a lot of time with things, um, honestly. And I just kind of sat with it and I, I wrote it and did it. Like, I think did the first video and was like, oh, I can stem this out. And then did the other video and then, like, sorry, did adaptive test. And then it just kind of grew and grew and grew from there. But I'd already had something written as soon as we did clean. I kind of had this all written out in, in a book um, and just kind of kept adding to it and adding to it and adding to it. You know, so it's uh, one of them. Uh, are you planning any collab maybe with Loth? There's nothing like, there's, there's nothing like on paper or anything like that, but I'd like, I'd be, I'd be keen. It'd be sick. Ollie CRT obsession. Yeah, facts. Now everyone's fucking doing it. <laughs> For real. From discussing this band before it was even a band in Birmingham. In my front room is mental. Yeah, nah, shout out. That shit was mad. Like, to think about that now, like, going all the way back, being like, oh, yeah, look, I've got this idea. And I look at it now, and I'm like... All right. <laughs> that went okay, I guess. Um... 
I ain't even pronouncing that, but thanks for the follow. <laughs> Speaking of which, will there ever be a Static Dress book? There's a comic um, out there. I think we're going to try bring some. We're going to try bring some to the States with us. I'm um, going to try my best to try to get some. Um, how do you do the overhead shot and welcome in? Oh, okay. So this was this was the sketchiest thing ever. Sam, if you're here, you'll remember this. So we had to somehow like get the camera, which is the one I'm shooting on right now. So I wish I could show you, but um, we'd have to get it and attach it to, literally to the ceiling. Like, there's no rig. There's no nothing. So we got <laughs> we got a sheet spread like this like tiny thin bed sheet it was used for like diffusion and stuff like that. Spread it apart. Nailed that to the ceiling, ripped a hole in it for the for the lens to come through, pushed the camera through, got the other half of the bed sheet, put that up and stapled that up. And um that's how we kind of got that shot. Which is hilarious to be fair, because <laughs> I said it rolling and I had absolutely no idea if it was even filming, whether it was even focused, because we had no way of playback, no way of nothing. It was like this is what it is, so I hope this is fine. We did five takes of it. Everyone was just too hot by the time it had done, so it was like, well, I hope that filmed. Otherwise, we've just wasted a good 30 minutes, which are going to be almost near impossible to, to do again. Um, so, yeah. Is there a meaning behind second story window? Uh, yeah, last track, cubicle, listen to it, figure it out. Um... How do you get all the set pieces, production, design together? Is it all just you guys in charge of it? Yeah, I literally come up with the design, the concept. I'm like, I want to make this. Just pull the guys in. Everyone, you know, I make everyone like, pitch in and help make it. We put it up and then and that's it. That's it done. Do you reckon you do more prologue comics in the future? Yeah, yeah. I, I hope so. I think... It's just honestly that the biggest problem right now is getting anything manufactured, getting anything done whilst being a touring band is almost is almost impossible. Like, I'll be here right now and this is absolutely fine and if I didn't have a tour to go on in next week, I'd be able to like sit there and be like, oh, we're going to release this, oh, we're going to do this, oh, we're going to do that. But it's like, I'd be pulling my hair out and like nearly giving myself like mental breakdowns over just getting tour merch ready and, and figuring out where we're sleeping and all this other stuff and it's honestly just like a a big juggling game and then when it's like oh i want to re-release this or we need to re-release this comic it's like shit like there's so much there's so many layers and all this stuff that just make it like so hard so you know yo fucking 90 odd people in here thank you for coming through and checking this out by the way um I'm on such a shame right now, but we just did a walkthrough of the welcoming video. So if anyone's got any questions, literally feel free to pop them in and I'll try to work my way through them and that. But uh, yeah, I hope everyone's good. Um, show us a ceiling camera. I think we've got a photo of it somewhere. I'm not too sure, but I'll um, I'll try to put some online. Uh, ceiling camera pics went. Let me just show you the angle which everyone's on about if you don't know, just for those who do not know. The angle is this. So it's this thing. Where well, it's basically top down, going straight in. Um, the whole time we were shooting it, I was terrified that it was just going to drop and smash me in the face, and that would not be cool. Um, yeah. <laughs> Real filmmakers balance their cameras on the most precarious stack of objects. Um, right now, I'll try to show you this. I'll try to show you this. Right now, <laughs> this camera is literally balanced on fucking Simpsons Hit and Run, Burnout Takedown 3, Gran Turismo's, San Andreas, Silent Hill 2, Dave Murray's Freestyle Beer, BMX, and a fucking Mac case. So, yeah, we move. <laughs> we move. Fucking hell. Lyrically, which song is your favourite? Mm -hmm. Probably such a shame. Do you give discounts to people who film your shows? I don't really know what that means. 
What's the hardest song to perform live? Uh, um, probably Lie Solution, I think. Um, you having van slash bus to tour in? Uh, we're doing it in a, and then we're probably doing it in a green van. So it's probably sleeping in the van for us. Um, look vague, vague on love that video. I uh, will do it in a minute. Sorry, I'm so behind on all these questions. Um, hey, bigger Alex, didn't even realize you were fucking here. Is there any connection between the overhead shots and something through the whole shots? And there's something in the work of her. Man, I actually got it. Holy shit. Shout out Alex real quick. If you also notice the holes in the wall, you go back on the Fleos video, they're also there as well. I did part of... I did my one... Sorry, I'm reading this like a knob, Elliot. I did a part of of the video in my bathroom and balance the lamp on the light. Yeah, honestly, you just got to rig everything until it works. Like, real ones making music videos and doing this shit. If you haven't got a budget, you'll find a way. And sometimes the pain of doing it will make it better. Like, I think that's probably been the whole, the whole thing with this band. The pain of it has probably made it better in the long run. Yo, shout out Void. Thanks for the sub, man. Cheers, appreciate that. Um, sorry, I'm going back over these questions because I miss so much just talking absolute shite. Um, death hazards everywhere. Yeah, fact. How did you make the vocals for the indecent live session? Live in session. Sent them in through Reaper. Live bounce out and round. Question mark. <laughs> Tracked them. Oh, I think you mean the effects and shit. Um, can't remember. It was some like plug in chain. Where's your ring light from and size? Uh, shout out Beth. Um, I think it's like the twenty inch one. I think it's literally like the dumbest, biggest one you can get. Um. Ori Kalkin, shout out. Nah, I'm sorry, that's on me. My typing is shit, bro, Sam. Don't worry about it. How's your voice? Um, okay, this is this is where it gets a little bit heavy. So, for those who don't know, who didn't see my story and shit, um, I, after we played the Underworld show, my voice was absolutely shot and fucked. Like, we played for an hour and a half and it really, really fucked me up. And for like two months, I've been like, why am I not getting any better? Why is it still a problem? And it turns out that I did I did do some damage by overexertion, but I also like have crazy, crazy bad reflux issues, which basically meant I burnt my vocal cords, essentially. Which isn't hot, you know? Um, so it meant that I actually did damage to them. It's not permanent, but it's not exactly comfortable. Um, and now I have to take some pills every day, every night and every morning um, to kind of control this. I've got to change everything that I eat. Like, I can't eat. So there's so many random foods I can't eat anymore. Um, and honestly, like, the mental toll that kind of shit takes on you is, is, is fucking horrible because... I was like on this roll of like, oh, I'm like getting to a place where I'm all right and comfortable. We did that show. I played like shit. I fucked my voice up so bad. I hated it when I came off. I felt like I'd let everyone down. And now there was a like price to pay after it as well. And it was just like, fuck sakes. So I've had to like go back to speech therapy again um, and kind of learn how to talk again from scratch, which sounds sounds dumb um but i basically like tricked myself into speaking with a voice 
um, that was like higher than my own and effectively putting strain on here. I'd show the photos and stuff, but they're kind of gross and I'd probably, I don't know if I'd get taken down for doing shit like that. But um, effectively there was like a foot of normal vocal folds and they were like white and then this doctor showed mine and they were like red and I'm like, that's kind of not good. But there was a scare for about two weeks where basically they thought I had uh, throat cancer. So on top of like all this like reflux shit and all this like burning vocal cords and problems, they thought I might have cancer. So I had to go and get an ENT done and it was like the worst shit in the world. Um, so now I've just got to stay on top of it, do this all this speech therapy thing, do these exercises every single day for like an hour, um, really watch what I eat, don't over talk, which is like, so this right now, this is all my talking for the day nearly getting done you can hear it's already getting hoarse and i've been on here for what like i've only been on here for like 40 minutes you know so it's shit it's shit but i know there's no permanent damage so at least i can keep doing shit and i don't know if you saw this shit earlier but i gotta keep inhaling all this steam all the time to make sure i can actually keep doing things so if you see me on this tour next week and the next following weeks and whatever and i kind of am a bit short or i'm not talking i am so sorry i'm so sorry but i'm just trying to preserve everything and i know that's the cuntiest sounding thing in the world and i wish i could just be one of these fucking people who get up there and do it and it's fine and there's no like there's no like being a pussy or anything and it's just getting on with it but genuinely like it's just uh it's so annoying Anyway, sob story over. Why wow, my life is harder than other people's, whatever. I'm not asked. Just got to get on with it and do it because I want to be able to do this. Um, time for some low hum acoustic bangers. Oh, you know it, baby. Auto tune on whack. Let's go. I'm worried about your touring. I'm not. It'll be fine. Literally nobody noticed it at the show. Oh, bro, I did. The videos on the way back, I was like, like it was awful. <laughs> it was a video clean where you, you just hear me pushing, and it's like every time I go for the note, it's like over, and I was like, uh, like just so, so frustrating. Are you being mentally these days? Eesh, up and down. Like this whole thing with my throat has just fucked me and sent me spiraling, to be honest. Um, sorry, I'm just going through these. Thanks, Lloyd. Where am I going in? Vague's fantastic. Debatable opinion. <laughs> we moved. I'll put the vague video on since the live that seen more than. Like six people ask for it at this point. Give me two seconds. That shit was a while ago now. Actually, no, it wasn't a while ago. We've just literally been putting out stuff like too often to a degree. So, once again, a video filed with references to other shit. Like, if you just go on a binge, I'm not saying do this because it, it, it's, it's completely up to you if you want to do it or not. But if you go through all these videos, you'll see that each one, there is a causal link between a lot of them. Um, whether it be in the form of something visual or like, or like actual, you'll see it or like a reference to something else, you'll get it. Whether it be a lighting reference or a like clone reference or something like that, you'll see it. But this is a vague. This was this was shot with. Oh man, this sequence. Fuck, I haven't watched this in ages. Let me know how the volume is, by the way. Yeah, this video was done with all the scraps of every set that we had. <laughs> it was literally like, it was literally piled together 
with like so we just finished shooting server and it was like oh, okay we got this and then we finished doing the cover shoot for kerrang which was fucking sick shout out kerrang for that um and we had that left and it was just like shit we got a video because this is when prologue was coming out the next um it was coming out in like prologue was coming out in like two weeks and i was like fuck i gotta make a video in three days um also shout out my friend harry um at haunted mattress on all socials shout out harry he did some fucking cool shit for this video like all the digital glitching and shit like that i don't have a modulator or anything like that anymore so i was that unhappy with this video i sent it to harry and he did some really cool shit for it so harry if you're watching i don't think you are but shout out harry um but yeah this is just a lot of scraps and a lot of stupid shit so that's why i probably hate it so much there's also a couple of b-roll sequences in this where we shot it in the crown in stoke actually was it is it longton yeah i think it's longton sam correct me if i'm wrong yeah the crown <laughs> shout out longton massive yeah where i was in this bath and i effectively i caught i don't know what the fuck i caught but i got so ill from doing it fuck me That fucking shot. That that shot. So this is inside the bathroom in the crown. This was the fucking most ill I've ever been from anything. Holy shit, it was fucking horrible. Also, let me know if the volume's okay, by the way. so many times i watch this back and i'm like i wish we had more money <laughs> like not not in a sense of like oh i wish i was rich and no, i mean like just just to make things that like that bit better you know there's it's, it's so fucking annoying i watch it back and i just start i overanalyze every shot being like for fuck's sake rather than just enjoying it which i know is mad unhealthy but Shout out that purple jacket that I literally ripped doing this shoot. I literally just put my arms in my hand and it ripped in half. <laughs> Hardest drum part of all time, Sam Ogden. Thanks, Will. Thank 
okay, then become weak. Yeah, once again, shout out Harry on that video. He fucking saved it, to be fair, man. Like, proper, proper saved it. Yeah, if you're just joining, just had a couple more people come through. If you're just joining, we've just gone over the welcoming video before. Um, and kind of did a taste over that. If you got any questions, I'll happily go through them. Um, but yeah. Seems like static dress could go two different ways. Be hard or heavy or go more mainstream. Which do you think the band will go? I don't know. I think we're just going to keep keep just doing what we've been what we kind of been doing. I don't want to ever pigeonhole ourselves in one spot, which is hard sometimes because when you get billed with bands that are heavy, it's like we can't go out and play vague when we're playing with Not Loose. You know, it just it just pure wouldn't work as much as like people would say, Oh no, it'd be fine. Trust me, we've done it. It doesn't work. Like it it goes down like a wet fart. Like it's just it's just not not a time, but like I don't know where we'll go with things. Um like we're doing stuff at the minute and it's sounding cool, like it's mad different from everything else, but then there's a load of stuff which is very similar to everything we've done, so it's hard to tell where it's gonna go. I just Hope that people stick around for it and people get involved and people like it because kind of the only thing that's keeping it going, to be fair. Like, without people directly helping and sharing and liking and getting involved in that, it, it seriously wouldn't exist. So, thanks again. Yeah, I'll shout out Black Soul. Thank you. Cheers, Beth. What inspired the look you had in Verg? Uh, I have like four different ones in Verg. Probably the most. Yeah, we just had like nothing left, so I just started throwing everything at the fucking wall, basically. I'm having similar feelings listening to Brockhampton in late 2014. This band just feels special. I don't know, there's something about it beautiful. I don't know if they're cancelled or what, but I'm not going to talk about any more of them, but... I think I get what you're getting at. I think Static Dress would drop a drill track. Yeah, me too, Kirby, me too. Beep. Oh, Zach, I don't know where the fuck that's going. Yeah, I'll sound if you just joined. I'll just a bunch more people come in then. Um, we just went over everything in the welcoming video. If you got anything which is like video related or if you've got anything which is like just camera video any shit just drop it in chat some shit do you ever see yourself being directed um i thought this was playing then so i just try to stop it um probably not probably not i think i could definitely i i'd like to work with other people going forward to be able to make things bigger and, and do better but like I don't know it just feels like kind of disingenuous if we're just running off someone else's idea like someone else just writing for you you know same sort of same sort of thing I don't ever just want to be a poster like a poster child of someone else's creation with clean and sober song titles are you in recovery no no. What's your favorite music video? I saw you posted Miss Yelly. She's a video. Seriously, one of the best. Yeah, for real. That's one of the best. Anything Hype Williams era, like anything, anything around that time is like one of my absolute like gold shit. Like if you ever get time, there's a film called I think it's called Belly that he did. Let me just see. Uh... Yeah, how this film looks. Um, see if we can find, let's see if we can find it. How this film looks is absolutely insane. Like, absolutely insane. So, like, the dialogue and how it's cut is fucking terrible. But, like, 
some of the set builds and like designs and other stuff like that is just absolutely wild. There's like a infamous nightclub scene that it opens with. I think even like Supreme put it on a shirt and like all this other stuff, but and it was unreal. Like if you ever get a chance, go watch Belly because he's crazy good. It's like all this shit, like the fake, the fake slow mo with the the frame stutters, just insane. I think DMX is in this. I can't even remember. It's been ages since I watched it. Oh, and then also, if you look at the cover art, you'll notice where I got the idea for the welcoming promos, like colorway idea. Well, idea. I'd say inspo for it because I, I I couldn't get anywhere close to what he got to it. But like, you see where I kind of got the idea from. But yeah, this is the most just like of OTT like gangster film. Oh, there he is, the boy. On a real one, do you find it awkward to film yourself? Yeah, I hate it. <laughs> I hate even doing this. I have to look back at chat and I'm like, Bleh. but you just, I realized to make this work, I kind of got to go over it. Like I used to have a massive problem with it because I'd never be in front of a camera. I'd always be behind the camera and I had a real, real, real hard time at first getting into it. But, you know, shit, I can't even see what's just happened. Yeah, thanks for the follow. Yeah, so this sequence here with all the UV light. So obviously this is done back in a time where it's all like shot to film. This, bruh. Unbelievable. Like, genuinely unbelievable. Yo, Slipshod, thanks for the follow. Like, all this. Yeah, sorry if you've just joined and you're seeing us just watching this thing. We've been going over music videos and stuff and I just mentioned a reference I just wanted to show to everyone. Because this video, like this whole film... Is absolutely crazy. It's called Belly. If you get a chance to watch it, please, please, please go and watch it. The video where I did Ray makeup look was a nightmare to do. Got blood and powder everywhere. Yeah, bet. Shout out. That shit was sick. Comes off very genuine and naturally on film. You realize how much I'm sweating right now just from talking this? Yeah, it's not natural at all. Do you know what, what lens you used? Like a crap zoom lens. A book out of 35 and a 50 lens from uni. Honestly, I just had a 50 mil for like the first three years of like my photography career. Like just, just stick to what you have and use what you have in different ways and you know, kind of get through it like that. Y'all gonna make me lose my mind. <laughs> I started reading that in my normal voice and I was just like, oh shit. My favorite music video I've done. Mm, favorite music video I've done. What, like for me or someone else? A cool one that I've done. A cool one that I've done. I don't even know. I can't even think. There was a really cool graphic nature one I did, actually. Um, And this, like, I remember, I remember doing it. And then Pete was like, yeah, this is how it's meant to look. And then from like, from like then on, it was just like every video kind of looked like this and it, it was sick for them. They're getting on some cool shit now. Go, um, go check them out. I think this week, this band Graphic Nature, they're on tour with, um, it's someone absolutely sick. Sam, if you're still in here, please. Help me. Who is it? They're supporting someone. They're supporting someone, and I can't think who the fuck it is. Horror, that's it. Yeah. Shout out Graphic Nature. If you are around any of the dates for this, go and watch them. Lovely guys. Sick band. Um, I made this video for them way back. I think it was in I think it was in COVID in lockdown. Um but now they're they're super, super great guys. Band kicks ass as well. I play a little bit of it. I don't give a fuck about monetization. I don't do fucking any of that shit anyway. Yeah, also shout out Jack. Uh, the drummer, he drove us around for a couple of shows. Once for Burn It Down last year. Really fucking came through. Um, yo, if you've just joined, thanks for coming through. We've just been on a bit of a music video tangent. If you've got any questions or you want me to go back over some stuff with welcoming, please just shout it in. I'll, I'll happily do so. But it's a band called Graphic Nature. They're on tour next week with horror supporting horror. Um, please go and support them and check them out if you can. Um, really, really fucking nice guys.
For real. But this is, this, I think this is the, this is one of my favorite videos I got to do. Like, I'm just proud of it. We had like no money for it either. Like really limited on everything. Um, but we just kind of worked with what we had. And this again, this is one of these things where it's just texture. Like you look at the walls, you look at everything. Yeah, it's just like decay abandoned, blah, blah, blah. But in a sense of the stutters, same thing again, just more texture. It's all just about building and shit. How do you find locations? Honestly, like locations are the hardest things in the world to come hold of when you're trying to get do a video. And half the time I just kind of turn around to the band or I have like my, my go-tos, which are, I, I don't really go to anymore because I've just overused them now. And that's a big thing is just try never to use the same place, but I just normally try to get the eyes to find the spot because I could just recommend places that I've been to or like someone I know has been to too many times. The Blair Witch shot staring at the wall is goaded. Yeah, shout out. <laughs> It's really funny. I, fuck, I can't remember what guy it was in there. Oh, I wish the boys were here, man. They'd fucking love this. Ollie, be honest. Have you... Have you... I think it's, Have you had anyone shit on your video? Have you had anyone shit on your video ideas? In film school, it was often considered cliche to use VHS effects in black and white. Um, well, I didn't get into film school. I didn't get into uni. I didn't get into any of that shit. So I literally couldn't give a fuck. Honestly, like, I think do do what's within your limits. Do what you can and do the best of your ability. Yo, still Holly Water, thank you for following. Um, Just do what you want and make sure you put your all into it. Like, I know in these associations, if that's even the right word, where it's like, or like these places where it's like education-based or where it's somewhere with some sort of formality and art they don't really mix it's like electric and water it's like they're two very strong things and i remember in photography like gcse or some shit like that i literally got like uh i think i got a b i think i got a b or a c in music i didn't i failed two modules like creativeness and having to gauge when something's creative and when something's creative and good is literally impossible so I've had people shit on my work, probably, probably, but you, you take no, like, you, you can't take any note of it, because if you take note of it and it, it sucks you in, then you end up fucking it, I know I had something recently where I did end up succumbing to it, like, in July when I went through a lot of shit, like, that was one of the problems, is I, I had a couple of jobs on where clients weren't happy with it, um, and I was just trying my best and I was really starting to question everything and it, it just sent me on a spiral and I was like, fuck, what do, what do I do? But you get through it and you pull through in the end because what you might like might not be what your client likes, but it might be something that their, their, like their crowd or audience ends up loving. So I think it's always a risk working with other people. And I think that's something for bands to remember as well. Like if you work with someone, remember you're working with someone, they're not working for you. Like, a lot of this creative direction, like, even with, like, producers and other shit like this, I notice it when I'm around them. Everyone kind of acts as if it's like, oh, I've hired you, so you must do as I say. And, and in all honesty, it's kind of like, this is meant to be a collaborative effort. You've hired someone for what they're capable of. Don't hire them to then just mend, like, bend them into shape of what you want, because it'll just, I don't know, just fire back and shoot you in the fucking face, really. Ollie, you catching nothing nowhere in the UK run. So this is the fucked thing, right? The one time coming back and he's coming back with his touring band that is literally just full of my fucking friends. Like, like literally Blake's playing guitar. Like, fucking... Like, tears on drums. Like, I'm just like, what the, the fuck? Like, it's going to be sick. If you get chance, go see Nothing Nowhere next month uh, because we're going to be in the States. <laughs> I'm so good that I can't go see him. Um... But yeah, go give him some love. Go pick up tickets for it. I know the tar's selling really well, so just please go through and support. You are proof you don't need to go to film school. Thanks, Kirby. Yeah, fuck him. There's actually a quote that I found the other day from a music teacher being like, um, unfortunately, music direction. Fuck, what was it? It was like, unfortunately, music direction. Um... Is, is something like dictating his grades into a negative light or something like that. I literally played Annihilation by the Hands of God 
for my GCSE piece. I did the first two minutes of it. Smashed it, but the notation of it was so fucked that they just... I had to do... I had to go back the next week and do a, a rock school piece because it was just... It was just not... Um, was not too to great or whatever, but I just remember in music, I just had such a fucking bad time. No. Fucking sucked. I bought a ticket to Nothing Nowhere. Was supposed to see him last time, but I was in the US seeing you, seeing you guys in Sea Space Cowboy. Oh, sick. Yeah, there's also a Count Pats run going on at the same time. Do you remember the Newcastle show last year that got cancelled before you were set because of the fight? Yeah, I'm never going to fucking forget that. We tried so hard to reorganize and replan and kind of sort that out, but unfortunately we couldn't transfer any of the tickets over and then we had the higher power toss straight afterwards. So if you were at that show, I am really sorry. Like, I am so sorry, but it it, it was completely out of our control. I tried absolutely everything, but fucking, I don't know. There was a lot of drama involved around it. It just sucks that it happened at our show because I just wanted to make something where everyone could have a good night. I think everyone did, but I think, yeah, people just got carried away with it and it fucking sucks because I came around the corner and I was just like, what the fuck is going on? Like, it was horrible. And I was already having the hardest week in my entire fucking life and then that goes and happens and it was just like, thanks, thanks man. You just, you just, you just fucked this up. Half in Belarus. Hey, hello. Um, My favourite filmographer. Oh, thank you. I'm not even that good, I just fucking... I just vibe. Yeah, videographer. Oh, keyboard warriors be coming through. Blake got nothing nowhere in his bio. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> That's so fucking funny. Uh, when are we going to do a video together? You tell me. Hit me up. My email's somewhere. Somewhere that's everywhere. I'm going to stick on some videos. He wants, what does anyone want to watch? What should I check out? What's, what, what is good? Yo, thanks for the sub. Almost did one of your songs, my GCSE music piece. That would have been sick. That would have been so funny. Yo, thanks for the prime. I have my final exam in a couple of hours. Yo, good luck with that. And honestly, even if it doesn't go well, don't sweat about it because school means fuck all. Just use each opportunity that you get. I noticed someone earlier said in uni they were thinking about dropping out and shit. I didn't think about this at the time because when you're in these environments when you're younger, you think like, oh, it's like a social aspect and this is just the thing I'm doing and I want to be with my friends. Use all the tools you've got around you to experiment and learn physically i think like printing and like taking photos and like using different bits of software and just take that and use that do the grades pass the things get the little ticks in the boxes whatever if you don't ah well but use all the facilities you can and use the environments and talk i think probably just talk to the tutors and the teachers and try to interrogate information out of them because once you get past that like kind of threshold you're going to end up being self-employed anyway <laughs> like it's very rare that you're going to come out of an art subject and then walk straight into a job unless you're going to be like the bottom of the barrel kind of job or like an apprenticeship scheme like you're never going to be walking out of it sorry i d you didn't ask for life advice but you're getting it um what's this what's this what's this new flesh water videos are great Facts. oh yeah i'll put on a flesh water video six foot band So shout out everyone in this video. Everyone in this video is sick as fuck. Um, this video itself is sick as fuck. Yo, sorry if you just joined and you don't know what the fuck's going on. We're just going to have some music videos and some other shit. If you got any questions about the welcome in, I'll go happily backtrack over them. But uh, we're just checking out Fleshwater right now. Sick band. If you don't know them, get on it. Unreal. Unreal. So sick. Oh, I just feel like smashing pumpkins. 
So, I just saw a question come through then about Boston Manor's new record, so we're sticking on some Boston Manor shit. Um, I think it's cool. I think it's mad different. Um, I think it's I think it's cool for like cool for them for sure. I've never watched this Fox Club video. I know my friend Zach did it. Shout out Modern Era. Um. Shout out Cauldron. What on Dorian Electra? Everyone will be so confused. That is fucking facts and that's going in the queue. Shout out Henry. Shout out Boston Manor boys actually. Lovely guys. It is mad different to everything they used to do. Like I know Welcome to the Neighborhood literally like changed so much for me like musically like i based everything like right around the same time as clean off that record zach is one of the coolest people i've seen yeah facts if it weren't for zach i wouldn't know fucking shit about video stuff this video is mad weird eh sick though this low zoom shit epic all right we're gonna box some better like you, i think So yeah, this one, like, it's a quick strobe warning, use, but like, I remember seeing this and hearing them for the first time and was just like, I have no idea what to even think of this, but it is so fucking sick. Costume design as well is just always like ridiculous. This video is absolutely nuts. Absolutely nuts. Like if you want, Something that's just like beautifully done. I think Trent doesn't like this one. Really? How the fuck can you not like this? This shit's amazing. But yeah, if you get time, go watch this video because it's absolutely insane. The visuals are nuts. Uh, I'm just going to shout out a band that I like a lot. I got Cauldron. Get on them if you don't know. Just finished the top of Counterparts. Absolutely smashed it. Saw in Leeds. Sick. Once again, great guys. Yeah, Cauldron and Foreign Hands. Mad combo. That'd be sick. See, I love the way this is shot. Like, tripod shit over handheld forever. You can cut it way quicker and it looks way smoother and everything's easier to understand. I'm not saying that in a boring way, but it just allows you to cut quick and make it look mad. So everyone kind of thinks with metal videos, you want to be like shaky cam and throwing it around and it's half the time it's not that that makes it mad. And you go back and watch all like super heavy videos and it's just all quick cuts. Right? Trying to start a banjo and advice. Put it out there, join groups, find people who like the same music as you and just see if you can make it from there. But don't ever force it, man. You'll never enjoy it. Put on your favourite MCR video. Happily, one of the best music videos of all time. Doesn't come up. Oh, yeah, it does. They just changed the fucking thumbnail. Right. Calling it. This is like the maddest shit of all time. Yo, if you've just joined, super sorry. Um, we're just going through a bunch of other music videos and shit. If you want to go back to welcome in, um, I'll happily do that in a couple of minutes. Just let me know in the comments and we'll we'll jump back. Um, but this video, the way it's shot, the way everything's framed, just like take note, colouring of stuff as well. Wild. Like absolutely fucking wild. Also, a song. Personal favourite to be honest. Sorry to be a vibe kill real quick as well, but if anyone is like a big MCR Stanny in here, Bob is pure selling his outfit from um, the Black Parade era on eBay. I don't know if it's sold already yet, but he's literally selling it and it was something like 15k it's gone up to. And it's all for charity as well, so big up Bob. But the... <laughs> In the bio for the item where it said item description, my guy literally wrote period R, uh, period uh, and I was like, nah, un untouchable. Shout out, Bob. That transition as well, for the time, mad underrated. Actually watching it back, hold on. Sorry, I'm nerding out. This is why I'm like the worst person to take to the fucking cinema. Bar 80p for the fucking win, by the way. Nah, still wild. Favorite MCR album. Mm, three cheers. Just delete. Danger Days is the right answer. Elliot, bro, I love you. Fuck that shit. No. <laughs> There's a wrong answer and it's that. But yeah, that's one of the absolute elite fucking videos of all time. Um, R.I.P. Mikey. Shout out for our fallen soldier. Everyone thinks I'm crazy when I say Three Cheers is better than Black Parade. I wouldn't disagree. I think Black Parade's way more dramatic, but, like, Three Cheers just has 
more like more in your face solid songs um but as it like like you could listen to different parts of three cheers in different sections and you'd be like sick whereas i think you have to listen to black parade as a whole to be like okay there's the grandioso of it if that makes sense so as a whole as an album i think it's better banger after banger and just like kind of spotify listening is the term i like to do it yeah three cheers The Black Parade, I thank you for the venom. Real. Real. Um, yeah, if you've just joined, I know this number keeps going up and down, so I, I'm sorry if you've just joined. We've uh, already gone through the welcoming video. If you want to me yeah, go back to it i'm sorry you're getting bored of me saying this shit but just literally just saying I'll, I'll jump back there but we'd just be going through some music videos that people either want me to check out or i like so yeah if you want to watch anything and we'll have a talk about it go ahead like this is just this is just for the nerds and other shit basically like i'll just chat shit forever my dream is for you to open to mcr i'm bummed we didn't bro like I'm so bummed. I like looked at I look looked to the lineup of people who are doing it and it's all just like it's all just I don't know. Bands that I just know where like when we're nowhere near the level of, so it is whatever. But you know. But maybe one day, maybe one day it'd happen, but I don't know. Whatever. We just move. Never say never. I don't know whether that's in in referring to me doing it or whether that's in referring to me wanting to check out the band that band i would simply pass away do more streams talking about visuals because i'm too dumb to understand music stuff same bro same um is there another video anyone wants me to check out or anyone wants me to do actually um let me see never think this paper cut video is pretty fucking sick to be fair I don't know if anyone's ever actually watched this. This one's pretty fucking nuts. This is where I actually got the video idea for Vague, where it does the split room thing. And you notice it, it'll go like here, where it transitions into like dirty to clean. And it's on a track. Obviously, they had a studio, which is like 10 million times the size of ours. Like that there, where you can see the inside. And it, I'm looking at this camera, I can see it myself there, but it like splits and does that. That's literally where we bounce that idea from. I'm going to say it's his hair in this is so sick. Sorry. Yeah, shout out all you in here as well. Thanks for sticking around and just hanging out. Like, I hope this is actually some sort of entertainment for you. See, I was never into Linkin Park when I was younger. Like, I remember watching it with, like, a Dragon Ball Z collab thing. And that's what kind of got me into, like, that side of music. So I was like, whoa. But I was never, like, past the singles. I saw someone shout out God Complex, so uh, we're gonna um, we're gonna spin that real quick. Oh, actually, okay, sick. So this video, um, I worked with the band to kind of come up with the whole concept and idea of it. Uh, this was four years ago as well. So bear that in mind, and I think you can definitely tell it was that this was this was directed by Zach. I helped second shoot some stuff, but I came up with the idea with Kyle because Kyle was needing like a video. I talked back and forth with it through it, so it was kind of like. Me to Kyle to me to Kyle. I presented the idea to Zach. Zach filmed it, executed it, edited it, graded it. I helped second shoot with it as well. And it was it was a it was a weird thing. But th this was my point is I just wanted to be involved in music, involved with bands, and really just help out my friends in whatever way because I just loved music. And I think ultimately, if you want a job in music, that's what you got to go for first. Like you don't start by going, "I want a job doing this." You start by going, "I love this," and then. If you try hard enough, you can fall into a job in it. I mean, I'm still trying. So, so. Rest in peace to the best band who never did it, honestly. Yeah, 
yeah, top 10. Top 10 men's for me. One of the best singers also ever. Music takes up my whole day, man. Like, seriously. There's not a single day I don't wake up where I'm not doing something fucking music related. I'm not quite asking Alexandria. Oh shit, actually there's a band I want everyone to check out, to be fair. Um, damn, Bleed, what's the fucking name of that song? See, this is just going to come up with... Oh! It actually did it. Have we got any videos? No, they don't have any videos. Mm. Sorry, but yeah, go listen to Bleed. Somebody's close to full EP. They're they're really good. If you like helmet and like OG like riff shit, it's kind of sick. Yo, if you just joined, we've kind of strayed away from the welcoming video. If you want me to go back, just let me know in in uh, in chat. Dime wish, cowards feed, cowards bleed. Let's go, cause it's here. Filming videos like this, I did a war the one where we had like blood falling like this, and it was just fucking. Oh my god, it was such an effort. <laughs> Yeah, these whole like raining, raining blood shots are so sick, but I know the pain of having to set up something like that. Yeah, shout out Eric on that one, he fucking smashed it. Yeah, this song, this video, crazy good. Shout out Dan. The fucking awesome. Shout out World of Pleasure. The whole negative camera thing looks so weird. <laughs> it's like heat map cam or something. I've actually never watched this. Yo, numbers going back up again. Uh, if you came for the welcoming video and you want me to go back, literally just say in chat and I will sort it out. Was it joyriding? Right, I've never watched this video, so let's see where this goes. Eight years ago. Jeez. By the way, my voice is getting fucked, so I'm probably going to have to stop this soon. Love Narrowhead. From Joy, yes, yeah, sick man. I think Connor produced them or mixed them or something. This video is cool, though. I mean... Looks seriously minimum budget, probably like DIY or something, I think. Song great. It was really funny when I watched these videos, like millions of views, and then the descriptions just looks like nothing. I feel like the blood thing's so overdone now. Like, every fucking band coming out is now just like, oh, that's just weird. <laughs> that's probably just the faces of the road, you know, people just going back into it. I'm not, that's not me paying, by the way, that's just me just getting an observation. That's sick, bro, with the walls. Um, I watched this video before. I haven't watched this one. This was a year ago. The song's called So Young, Too Old. We'll give it a shout. I know it's like metal. I think. Jeez. Oh, I know this song. That snare is tiny. <laughs> Reminds me like Swan in. If anyone even remembers them. Big bum. I didn't mean that in a shit way, by the way. I just like, that. I know it's just been a while since he did anything. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's cool. I remember that this EP was quite sick. Bomb drag to, to outbreak. Okay. You like this? Like this? I know you. This is sick. Yeah, that's cool. Can you give us more movie recommendations? Um, Terrifier just came out. That shit's mad. Um, movie recommendations and stuff to watch. Watch the crow. I've never seen it. All I've ever done is watch videos of how it's made. Basic bitch, but Saw one. Mad good. I don't like the rest of them though. Um, what else have I watched recently? I got shown Interstellar, but my fucking stupid ass just I was I just got too bored <laughs> but the idea of it's really good and the score is amazing like the music in it is absolutely fantastic uh, shout out Tess I need to fucking do work yay um yeah I'm gonna I'm just gonna check out them real quick and then we're gonna have to call this unfortunately this has been sick thank you everyone for coming through um, but I'm just getting mad fucking throat problems I have no idea what this is this is just literally something someone's dropped in chat but we about to we about to get this style sick I'm sorry we're going back because I I love shit like that <laughs> pills like a maracas you don't like I just read Hot Cheater, like Flaming Hot Cheater, and I was like, what? And I, I'm, I'm gonna come back and do this. I don't wanna be, keep boring people. I have absolutely no idea what to make of this. They have more listenable songs than this, though. <laughs> I fucking love that shit. This my shit. I hate that outfit because it's just so overused, but this is, this is sick. Yeah, no, I like how this is done, man. It's really cool. The idea is the shots are sick. Reminds me of like ambient music videos, yeah, for real. Uh, right, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a bail now. Um, but seriously, thank you for staying around. Thank you if you jumped in and then jumped back out. Um, this has been sick. Uh, we go on tour next month with Lowe around the US. If you're thinking about coming to a show, please come down. Um, gave everyone on that on that bill love, like Unity, Ameta, us love, like a lineup that you're definitely not going to want to miss um thank you for joining this thank you for caring and giving a fuck um every part of your support helps even if it's just fucking sharing something or liking shit or getting involved with this in the comments it all helps along the way um yeah i i, I don't really know so sorry we went on a tangent i hope it was still enjoyable like thank you for some of you for sticking around but um yeah stay safe and uh I'll probably do this again in January or some shit because we're going to be gone for a long time now. But yeah, sound. Thanks for the follow as well. Got there in the end. Cheers, guys.